Hi, this is Laura Santusen, and I'm the Visible Body Education Team Trainer. And today we're going to talk about graded quizzing within courseware. At Visible Body, we have two different ways that you can assign quizzes. And the first way is to use one of our pre-made up quizzes, and we have a lot of them. So we've made up a bunch of multiple choice quizzes and dissection quizzes or identification quizzes, quizzes where you identify structures. Um, and they're organized by system and then by subtopic. So when you're making up a quiz within one of your courses, it helps to know ahead of time exactly what you want to accomplish. And if you can use one of our pre-made up quizzes, all the better. You don't need to choose questions. It's ready to go for you. It's just grab and go. So let's get started. So I want to make up a quiz in my anatomy and physiology course. And as you know, when you log into courseware, you're by default brought to the courses page. You probably won't have as many courses here as I do, but you'll have probably our uh, pre-lab and post-lab assessments course, our anatomy and physiology semester one course, our anatomy and physiology semester two course, and these are the pre-made up courses. These are the courses that we've made up that are also grab and go. If you don't have these, um, please do let me know. I'll give you my email address at the end of this, but um, they're really great to have to just sort of uh, modify from. But at any rate, I'm made up this anatomy and physiology course and I would like to give a quiz on the circulatory system and in particular on the subtopic of the heart and I'd like to give two quizzes one multiple choice and one identification or dissection. Now how do I find out if these quizzes exist? Well I'll go here to instructor resources and I'll look at the graded quiz bank guide. This is really a very good resource. It lists, first of all, it lists all the pre-made up quizzes that we have, and they fall into six categories. The first is quiz bank by system, multiple choice. And as you can see, here's cells and tissues, integumentary system, oops, skeletal system. And within each one of these um, systems, there are different subtopics. So for example, there are multiple choice quizzes on types of bones, bone tissue, appendicular skeleton, joints. We also have dissection quizzes. And again, these are identification quizzes. These are click on a structure, tell me where the structure is by clicking on it. And again, these are all set up by system and you can see the subtopics within. The third category are atlas quizzes. These are the practice quizzes that are already in Human Anatomy Atlas, but they have been put into our graded quizzing feature, and so they are available uh, as graded quizzes. These are all identification quizzes. Number four, bony landmark quizzes. Number five are the anatomy and physiology pre-lab and post-lab quizzes. And these correspond to the quizzes that are in our pre-made up uh, course entitled pre-lab and post-lab, A&P pre-lab and post-lab. And the last are our sample A&P course quizzes. And these quizzes are already in our sample anatomy and physiology course. Now, all of these quizzes are available to you to just grab and go. If you scroll down a little bit more on this document, you can see actually all the actual questions. So if you're ever looking to see what, what questions are in each one of these quizzes, here they all are. Okay, so I, I'm going to close this up. So I saw that um, There was a multiple choice quiz for 
the heart as a topic and also a dissection quiz for the heart as a topic. So I am going to just grab them. So within Visible Body, every quiz is considered an assignment. So to start off, I'm going to click on Create New Assignment. And I'm taking to the assignment page and I can create an assignment using any one of our apps. But what I really want is the graded quiz bank. So I'm going to choose that, click on continue. By default, I am taken to the actual quiz bank. So this is the bank of actual quizzes. It's not questions, it is the quizzes. So how do I find these uh, heart quizzes? How do I find them? Well, I'm going to filter. First, I'm going to filter by visible body. I, you see, I have a whole bunch of choices here. The first choice is visible body, and these are the quizzes that we've made up that you saw on that list. Um, the second are Atlas quizzes, and these are the practice quizzes that are in um, the graded quizzing uh, functions, so they are available to be graded. These are all actually people at visible body, but they may be populated by people at your institution. So I'm going to choose visible body because I want the visible body quiz. Actually, because I want both a multiple choice and a dissection quiz, I'm not going to specify question type. If I just wanted one of these, I would specify it, but I'm not going to. Next, I'm going to click on the topic and I'm going to find it. I'm going to click on circulatory system and subtopic the heart. Now I can also choose by Bloom's level of cognitive domain, but in this case, I'm just going to choose all of them. Okay, so what comes up here are all our quizzes that are related to the heart. And you can see that some of these are the pre-lab and post-lab quizzes. This is a heart structures quiz, a heart function quiz. I want this heart dissection quiz. I see I have three multiple choice quizzes here to choose from. For every subtopic, we have three multiple choice quizzes. The first one uh, contains questions that are in the Bloom's level, uh, level number one, which is just knowledge. Multiple choice quiz two is always Bloom's level two, which is comprehension. And the multiple choice quiz number three is a combination of both. And I think that's what I would like in this case, multiple choice quiz three. Now, if I'd like to preview either one of these, I just click on it. And when I click on it, it helps if I zoom a little bit because I can see more of the questions at a time. So here's the dissection quiz because I clicked on it and made it blue. Here's the dissection quiz. I can just look at all the questions. Yes, that's exactly what I want to do. I'm gonna click on multiple choice quiz three and I can preview the questions here. And you can see some of them are very simple questions, the level one, and some of them are a little bit more analytical at level two comprehension. So both of those look good. And I can see that I have two assets selected, which is two quizzes. So I'm going to click on continue and I'm going to create my assignment. And my assignment is going to be called heart quizzes. I can set a due date. If I like, I can delay the release to a particular date or I can just release it when I publish it. I wanna make sure I put it in the right place. So I'm going to put it in the circulatory system. All visible body quizzes are meant to be learning experiences. So we do show students the correct answers. I have the choice of showing them the correct answers at the very end of the quiz or after each question and at the end of the quiz. And you may want to show um, the questions after each question and at the end of the quiz, perhaps for uh, the dissection quizzes, 
so students get immediate feedback of what they've chosen if they've chosen the wrong structure. Um, however, these parameters uh, apply to both quizzes that I've chosen. So I'm just going to show the correct answers at the end of the quiz. Now, the point value. It's important to know that the point value is per quiz. So I've chosen two quizzes. I have one assignment, but I have two quizzes. How much do I want each quiz to count points wise for the student's grade? So I'm going to put in 10. There are 10 questions per quiz. I will put in 10 as a point value. Each question will have a point value of one, but I can put in anything that I like. I can display the grade as percentage or points. Number of attempts. It is a best practice to allow the students more than one attempt at the quiz. The internet will sometimes cut out for a student and you don't want them to be locked out of their quiz. So uh, it's best to give them at least two attempts to do the quiz. You can give them unlimited attempts if you like. And then you pick which quiz score to keep. And in this case, I'm going to keep the best attempt. I can set a time limit if I like, and I can also write in some instructions for them. Once I have this the way I'd like it, I'm going to save, I'm going to save the draft. Now this has not released it yet. When I publish it, it will release it to the students, and at that point I can't change it. But while it's saved, I can make any modifications to it that I like. And here it is. And let's take a look at it within the course. Let's just zoom back out again. So here's the course, here's the circulatory system. I have my assignment and here are the quizzes. And I know that they're quizzes because they have a little check mark inside a box. And here they are. And you can see they are two separate quizzes because we, we have the capability of only having dissection questions in one quiz and multiple choice questions in another quiz. We can't mix them up. But students can complete them in one sitting during one assignment. So, so what do these quizzes look like? Well, let's take a look. This is the multiple choice quiz. And it's, I've just included three questions, not all 10, so we can see what it looks like. So I got two out of three questions correct. And you can see from my incorrect answer, I'm told what is the correct answer. Okay, so let's look at the identification quiz. And as you can see, I can do everything to this part model that I can do in Human Anatomy Atlas. I can make it bigger, make it smaller, turn it around, look through the uh, aorta there. I can do all sorts of things. So I can click on a structure. I can fade it. I can hide it. I can do anything I want. And that's important if you have to find a structure behind something. So uh, let's just, let's do the test. And let's see what I got right. I got one right. And as you can see, I'm told what incorrect structure I selected. Okay, so to sum up, if you can use any of the quizzes that we have already made up 
uh, that is a great time saver. You don't need to choose questions yourself. You can just grab the quiz and go. However, you may want to customize your quizzes in some way. You may want to combine, <clears throat> for example, you may want to co combine all the quizzes for the circulatory system. So let's go here and we'll see. I may want a quiz that has all the blood questions, all the heart questions, and all the blood vessels and circulation questions in there. And in that case, I'm going to want to make up my own quiz. Um, I may want to have a quiz by region rather than systems. In that case, I'm going to want to make up my own quiz. And I'm going to show you how to do that in our next session. So thank you and see you soon.